What's happening YouTube? Oshin here, we are back for another video. Um, this one's gonna be a shorter one, it's gonna be a simpler one. This is gonna be the top five exercises in the gym for speed and power development. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, this is my dynamic day, I call it my program. So I like have a, a heavy day for upper and lower. I have a dynamic day for lower body, so it's more jumps and kind of high power movements, and then more like a bodybuilding day for upper body. Um, so today is that dynamic day, so I'm gonna take you through that there, and it'll be a good time to show you is my favorite uh, speed exercises for, for developing speed and power. Um, this here session is quite a few of the minute, so I'm gonna take you through the session, and then I'm gonna show you some of the extras as well. So uh, yeah, we'll get into it here. Uh, I'll preface it by saying, it's just gym exercises, so the best probably thing you can do for speed is sprinting, but uh, this is just stuff you can do in the gym and hopefully you can add it into your program and turn you into Usain Bolts, or close to it anyway. Okay, so the first of the five uh, is jumping exercises, so uh, particularly plyometric ones. Um, I think these are really good and I really enjoy them and enjoy programming them because it's just that pure expression of force. And force is really everything when it comes to sprinting. You know, it's been able to generate force quickly and I think the jump variations are just brilliant for that. And when you're doing them, you just get that kind of athletic feel off them. Um, you have loads of different variations you can go for. I'm going for uh, depth jumps today off these bench. I'm gonna show you them. But uh, you could change it up, you could go broad jumps, you could go hurdle hops, you could go box jumps. It's literally tons and tons, but plyometrics, really, really good. You got like three feet of air that time. Next exercise, number two, is a weighted jump, very similar to the first, but not the same. Um, so adding weight on the movement, you see me there doing a trap bar jump. Um, probably one of my favorites for, for that overall power development. This one, like the last one, you're having to express that force really quickly, but just that added weight means you just have to push so much more into it. And it's a, it's a really good move, and if you look at any, any research on like squat jumps, trap bar jumps, there's a lot to support it for, you know, your acceleration and your jumping. Um, so the trap bar jumps is one I do a lot of and I have all the boys who are playing Gaelic in the gym doing. Um, really good movement. What you could do instead of a trap bar jump, you could do a, uh, a squat jump. Uh, you could do, get a kettlebell, do like a kettlebell jump between the leg if you don't have a trap bar. Um, or else even just like a, some sort of jump with dumbbells, you know, in each hand. So you see now when I have 40 on the bar, um, don't overload the weight whenever you're doing these jumps, you know, it's not about how much weight you can get on and jump, it's about how good you're doing it, you know, the quality of the jump, trying to get up nice and high, get plenty of force on it, um, and that's why you don't want to go too heavy on it. So it seems if you're doing a squat jump, you know, maybe only look at 30 or 40% of your max on it. But, yeah, really good movement. Okay, number three of the movements. Um, it's like a weighted sprinted movement. Uh, so you see me doing the prowler pushes there. So it's something that's very similar to sprinting and sprint mechanics, but we're, we're overloading it with a bit of weight or adding a bit of resistance. Um, the prowler, can I find, is, is probably the best for it. Um, and I know every gym is going to have a prowler, so what you can do as a substitute is if you have a sled, you know, use some sort of sled where it's dragging behind you. Um, if you don't have that, then maybe like a, a get a band around your waist, get another person to hold you in behind and do like a resisted sprint. Same kind of idea. Um, the good thing about it is too, you can really work on your sprint mechanics. So when I'm doing that, 
I'm focusing on getting a, a good 45 degree angle of the body, trying to drive the knee up nice and hard, get a good drive of the foot into the ground. Um, so it's good for reinforcing those, those sprint mechanics, which are so important. So yeah, that's number three. Okay, next movement then, number four is a, a single leg strength exercise. Really important because, you know, so much of what we do in sports, so much of what we do in Gaelic, is based off of one leg. You know, you sprint off one leg, you make that cut to the right or to the left off one leg, you jump off one leg. So it makes sense to train one leg and train single leg strength. And sometimes what you find is when you're doing, you know, your traditional double leg stuff, um, is that one side will be a wee bit more dominant than the other. So you want to make sure that you work on both sides. Um, but really good. I'm done doing split squats there today. Your other variations is your lunge, single leg squat down to a box. Things like that can be really useful. So uh, think about adding in some single leg strength exercises too. That's number four. And final is our bilateral strength exercises. So that's your, your bigger ones, your more traditional ones, like your, your back squat, your deadlifts. That was an RDL you seen me doing there for the hamstrings, normal trap bar deadlifts. Still a really important component of it. Um, and definitely one worth putting in. Um, with, with those and with the single leg ones, I was doing between maybe three and six reps. I prefer on the double ones, to go, you know, a bit heavier, maybe three to five. Sometimes in the single leg ones, I prefer to go a wee bit, a wee bit higher reps, maybe six reps on it, because I find if you go too heavy on it, because of just the balance they did a lot of the time with the single leg, you tend to maybe mess up a technique a wee bit. So sometimes it's a bit better going lighter on them. Um, that is the top five speed exercises or power exercises in the gym, in my opinion. So give them a go. Let me know how it goes. Like, subscribe, share this around with anyone that's slow and needs some help. Thanks for watching.